Now that it's winter and it's cold outside, my skin tends to get a lot drier. So not only do I switch up my facial skincare routine, but I switch up my body skincare routine. So I'm gonna share that with you today. So when it gets cold outside, we know that our skin gets drier, not only because the climate outside is drier, but also because we're dealing with heaters. We tend to wear a lot more layers and thicker clothing and probably using hotter water when we are taking showers or taking baths. So all of that leads to much drier skin. Besides switching up your skincare routine and the skincare products you're using, you can also keep in mind some just general tips that I think are actually good tips throughout the year, not just during the winter time, but they're especially important during the winter time. One is to just make sure you stay hydrated. I say this all the time. You don't have to just drink water. And sometimes that doesn't even feel like it's quenching your thirst and it's not actually hydrating you. A lot of the time people will tell me that they drink tons of water and then they just pee it out. Instead, make sure you're also eating your water. And what I mean by that is you're quenching that thirst and you're hydrating your skin with vegetables and with fruits that are very high in water content. Also keep in mind, the hotter your shower, the hotter your bath, the more it's going to dry out your skin. So I know we all enjoy a really nice hot shower when it's cold outside, especially when you come in and you're like, oh, I'm freezing, I just wanna take a nice hot shower. Just keep in mind that the hotter the shower, the more it's gonna dry out your skin. So if you can take it back down in that temperature, you're gonna have a better outcome with your skin, especially if you are feeling like your skin is getting really dry. And then just like with your face, make sure you go in with your products, especially especially your moisturizing products while your skin is still damp. So what I like to do is I obviously have the doors to my bathroom closed while I'm taking a shower. Even if I'm not taking the hottest bath, it will steam up. Make sure that as soon as you get out of the shower, while the bathroom is still a little bit steamy, don't open the door yet. Keep all that steam in and then put your moisturizer on so you can lock all of that hydration into your skin. As far as products go, this is exactly why I created some of the Natarium body washes, specifically our body wash called the Glow Getter. This is a gel to oil kind of texture and it is so beautiful, soothing and hydrating for your skin. It's by far our most popular of all of our body washes and there's a reason for it. It feels so good. You can wash your body with it and when you get out of the shower, you do not feel like your skin is stripped at all. One of the really key benefits is that we formulated it with over 50% glycerin. A lot of people don't realize this, but glycerin is actually a really nice ingredient to have in your wash off products. It works really well to lock in that hydration and soothe and nourish your skin. So even though you are washing it off, it actually has been shown to be very beneficial to your skin, even in a wash off product. It's a beautiful body wash. People are always super surprised when they use it. I get DMs from people all the time saying that it has changed their skin and it is great for the winter time. I also love it for the summertime too, but this is the kind of body wash where you get out of the shower and you immediately feel like your skin is just off to the right start because it is so nice and nourished. Now, if you have really dry, irritated skin already, it's getting flaky and you really need some help, then I highly recommend our body wash called the Soother. That one has really nice soothing ingredients like calendula, chamomile, there's also marshmallow root extract. All of these ingredients feel really great on your skin. It starts off as this like really nice creamy gel texture and it also has very mild surfactants in it. So it's gonna cleanse your skin really well but it's not gonna feel like it's stripping your skin at all. It's just soothing because of the nice ingredients in it. And I wanna remind you, these are also body washes that have been formulated for your face. So you can keep it really simple in your shower with these body washes. They're so great for the winter time, especially when your skin is dry. But this one specifically, the Soother is great for people who have dry, irritated skin. All right, next. I don't necessarily think you need to have a body serum. But if you want to hydrate your skin, I've been using a serum from a brand called IOTA and it's called the Super Plant Body Serum. And what I really like about it is it's not just like a hydrating serum for your body. It actually has lots of different nutrients in it. It also has pre and postbiotics. It has niacinamide at 2%. And if you don't know, niacinamide at 2% is really great for your skin to just help balance and hydrate your skin. So it has this nice plush kind of serum texture to it. It feels really good when you put it on. And it's especially nice if you put a body butter on top of it, which is exactly what I do. I'll talk about that product next. I did find it to be a little bit sticky if I just left it on its own. So it's definitely a serum that you have 
have to put a moisturizer on, but it's really, really nice. And I've noticed that with continued use, my skin just feels a lot more, I guess like smooth. And that's what I really like about it. It's not the same kind of effect that you get with like a hydrating serum for your face, but it does feel nice and smooth. I especially like to focus a lot of products lately on like my lower body area, especially like after babies and stuff, the skin stretches out more and everything. And I feel like we don't talk about that part of our bodies as much about the skin around that part of our bodies, like around our stomach, our thighs, our butts, that kind of area. So it's nice to have a hydrating serum that you use on your body. I'll also throw out there, I repurpose products that were made for my face for my body instead. So when it comes to anything that are like my actives, I especially love using different retinoids, like any retinol product that I haven't finished yet, I will use it up on my body. I put it on my chest, I put it on my tummy, I put it on my thighs. So don't be afraid to take a product that you were like, this was a little bit too strong for my face, but I don't wanna waste it. Use it on your body. The only kind of product that I don't use as much in the winter time is really like a body scrub. I love the Naturium KP body scrub, for instance, but I limit that to more like maybe once a week and I really keep it specific to the areas where I need it. Like any place that I'm gonna shave, any place where I feel like I'm a little extra bumpy, then I'll just use it there. Next, moisture. Super, super important. Obviously you wanna have a really nice moisturizer for the winter time. I've especially been loving the Osea Andaria Algae Body Butter. It's a little bit pricey, but the jar is actually pretty hefty. It's really dense and the body butter is really, really nice. It's a little thick, so if you don't like a thick body butter, like you like something that's a little bit more whipped. This is not that kind of texture. It's a really rich, dense texture that I personally love for the winter time. It has a really beautiful scent, but it's nice and light. It's almost like a spa kind of product that you're using. And all the ingredients are really nice and nourishing. There's the Andaria algae that's really nice to replenish your skin. You get shea butter in here. I always love shea butter. It does not feel sticky in this formula. It just feels nice and smooth. There are ceramides. There's a plant-derived amino acid that helps to really nourish your skin as well. And there's also just really nice hydrating ingredients overall. It's a beautiful body butter. If you love a dense body butter, this is a nice one. Winter time is when my feet, I guess it's like a little TMI, is it TMI? But my feet get super dry, especially my heel area. I also have hypothyroidism and that can tend to like contribute to it a lot. One of the things that I tend to do is I'll use like an aquaphor or some kind of a balm like that. And first I'll use one of my exfoliators. So like the KP body scrub from Interium is really great to use or anything that has salicylic acid in it. Salicylic acid is one of those ingredients that's just really great to use. So like we also have our Naturium Salicylic Acid Serum. It's actually an acne serum. It's not made for your feet, but I'm telling you it's totally fine to put on your feet, just like a serum as well, because salicylic acid is just one of those really great ingredients that breaks down any of that, you know, like that extra dead skin and everything. So I will use something like that and then just lock it in with an aquaphor and put on some old socks and I'm good to go before bed. But there is a product also that is really basic, but people love it and it has the perfect ingredients for dry cracked feet and that is Carousel. I'm sure you've heard people talk about it. I hear all the dermatologists talk about it, but it's a really nice product because it has 10% urea in it, which is very gently exfoliating, but also a uh, nourishing ingredient. I always wonder why urea isn't more popular in the United States because it's just a great ingredient and you see it in French pharmacy products all the time. It also has 5% salicylic acid in it and then it has petrolatum. So you're basically getting that whole combination that I just explained, like using one of your BHA exfoliants, your salicylic acid exfoliants, and then locking it in with a balm. This basically does that. You've got the balm, but it also has a urea and the 5% salicylic acid. And you know, I just put a little bit onto the dry cracked areas of my feet, put on some socks, go to sleep. It's perfect. I can't talk about foot care without talking about hand care. I tend to wash my hands a lot. So during the winter time, my skin gets even extra dry. So I've been loving gloves in a bottle. It's a lotion that, I mean, it feels like gloves in a bottle. It feels like it leaves a layer on your skin and that layer is supposed to last for about four hours. Even when you continue to wash your hands, your hands are supposed to stay protected. So it's more like a sealant instead of a moisturizer. I would almost even think of it like that. It's like an occlusive sealant for your skin. It feels really light. I know saying that it probably sounds like this would be like a really thick, sticky kind of product, but it's not. It feels really light. It does feel like a cream at first, but then it starts to just dry down quickly and you can feel a little layer that doesn't feel at all sticky. Like you can touch your computer, you can touch your phone and everything right after you put it on and it stays really nicely. And I've noticed it really helps my hands stay a lot more hydrated and moisturized. It dries down really quickly. I'm pretty aware of it at first, but once you've had it on for a couple of minutes, you don't even notice that you've got this moisturizer on. So it really is nice and protective for your hands. 
Next is the CO chest lift body, like silicone chest patch. I have just become really religious about wearing this thing lately. You've probably heard of CO. I've talked about like their eye patches, the under eye patches before, the forehead patches. Those are all patches that I used to use. I still sometimes use the eye patches, but I am religious now with my chest patch. And the reason for that is because more recently, I started noticing when I would wake up that I actually have lines between my boobs on my chest area. And of course that's gonna to start to break down more and more and eventually become more permanent looking because it does go away. I'll say like, I'll wake up, I'll see the lines. And then after like an hour of being up, it does actually go away, but I know that's going to become a problem. So I'm trying to be a little bit more preventative this time. Now that I see it, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna be more preventative. So I've been wearing this chest patch because one, I don't even notice I'm wearing it once I have it on. It does not bother me at all when I go to sleep. It's just silicone. Sometimes I'll put a serum on in this area, but you really don't have to because silicone actually has been proven to have really great effects on preventing wrinkles and even help the appearance of wrinkles that are already there. There actually are some really great studies on the results of silicone. Silicone is what's used on like scar repair, for instance. Like if you go have surgery, you see any plastic surgeon, you have surgery like, you know, a C-section, something for an emergency. Whenever you get a scar cream, your doctor is almost always gonna give you something that is mostly silicone. So silicone has really great wound healing effects. And that kind of healing that it has also works well for wrinkles. So I've been really into silicone patches. I've been into them for a while, but I most recently got into my chest patch from CO, and I really do wear it all the time. As far as sunscreen goes, I don't have any favorites for the winter time. I tend to just like bring all of my sunscreen down to the areas where I'm exposed. Obviously during the winter time, I'm not, you know, like really exposing that much of my skin, but just keep in mind that if you are gonna be outside working out, doing you know, that kind of stuff, try to wear your UPF clothing. That's really my go-to is the UPF clothing, like when I walk my dog and stuff, whenever I'm at the park with my kids, any of that. I also make sure I wear a hat during the winter time as well. And I'm religious to my sunscreen for my face. And so I bring that all the way down to my chest and also my shoulders. And then the last product that I just love is having a humidifier. I love the Canopy humidifier. It is mold free. It, you can put it in the dishwasher to clean it. It's mold free because it has a paper filter that you just change out, but also it has, instead of like a mist, like a wet mist that comes out of the humidifier, it's more like a fan. So it's really nice to have in your room. I put it in my kid's room as well. It's just really nice to have a humidifier, especially during the winter time when you have the heater on, it just helps keep the whole room feeling nice and hydrated. So that's my winter body skincare routine right now. I change up these products all the time. I go through body products so much faster sometimes. I don't know why, maybe it's because I have less body products to choose from and I have more face skincare products, you know, like in my, in my cabinet. So I have a lot more to switch through when it comes to my face products and I really go to town with my body ones. I guess it makes sense because more skin, body area, I don't know. But I go through my body products so quickly. So if there are other body products you want me to try or you highly recommend, let me know in the comments. You can also ask any questions that you have. You can find me on Instagram. I'm at Susan Yara and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.